Hi, everybody. This is Nikila Raul. I am the chair of the Young Physicians section, and I'd like to welcome all of you who are coming to your first annual meeting for the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery. Maybe it's not your first meeting, but maybe it's your first meeting in a while. Whether you're a medical student, a resident, a fellow, or a longtime otolaryngologist who's just come back to the meetings, we're happy to have you here. We wanted to give you some tips on how to navigate your first meeting or your first meeting back. If you go to the meeting for the first time, it can feel very overwhelming. There are just so many things happening all at the same time. And my couple pointers and advice will be sort of focus more on um, more of the scientific sessions specifically because there's so much to see and do at the Academy meeting. Really recommend downloading the Oto Meeting app, looking at the schedule ahead of time, bookmarking all of the activities you are really interested in and educational sessions that you're really interested in attending so you can make it to all of them. The app also has uh, the map of the uh, facility where the meeting will happen. And so it's another great resource to plan out how long you need to walk places to make it to all of the sessions that you're interested in attending. The named lecturers really address uh, both topics for all otolaryngologists. Depending on what your interests are, um, these are great places to start to see uh, some of the headliners for the Academy meeting. I'd like to talk just quickly about how you can maximize mentoring and networking opportunities at the annual meeting. I would recommend going to a few different events to really maximize those opportunities. One, the president's reception, a great opportunity to try to meet some leaders and other academy members who have been active in the academy and can help you along in your path to learning more about the organization as well as achieving leadership and more participation in the organization. Another great place that you can meet people from a network networking perspective is at the Board of Governors meeting. If you're lucky enough to be able to come a day early, I would highly recommend going to this. I've always found this to be a place where leaders are accessible, everyone is so friendly and just ready to take on new people uh, and show them the ropes. The Board of Governors, or the BOG, plays a crucial role within the Academy of Otolaryngology. We represent the interests and concerns of our Academy members at the grassroots level and we help facilitate communication between the Academy's leadership and membership. First-time attendees that are interested in learning more about the BOG should actually consider attending one of our meetings. We typically hold meetings on the Saturday before the annual Academy meeting begins. This year's meetings will be held on Saturday, September 30th in the Davison Ballrooms. If somehow you're unable to attend, just look for sessions on workshops related to advocacy, leadership development, and practice management within our field. These can provide some insight into the BOG's work and its relevance in your practice. Please do not hesitate to contact me or any of the BOG leadership or academy staff with any questions. We can provide information on how to become more involved and contribute to the organization's mission. Getting involved in the BOG is a rewarding way to actively participate in the advancement of our field. I hope to see you at the next meeting. Another place that is a great pit stop for you during the annual meeting are committee meetings. Now, that doesn't mean you have to be a member of the committee in order to go to the meetings, but you can attend as a guest. Because the meetings are fairly intimate and they're pretty small from a roster standpoint, you can really meet new people as well as make your face known and make yourself known uh, so that people who are in the committee, committee are aware that you're interested in participating and getting more involved in the academy. So the education sessions are the next area to explore for first-time attendees. They come basically in two varieties. They are either panel presentations or expert lectures. Expert lectures you should think about as sort of a one-hour class on a particular topic given by an expert in the field. Um, and there are so many expert lectures available, you can pick the one of your choosing that you feel like is of most interest to you. The panel presentations tend to be in larger rooms and they are really focused around specific subjects, uh, particular to otolaryngology. And there are usually multiple talks by experts in the field, but sometimes they can be very exciting because they will debate an interesting topic that has some controversy in otolaryngology. So both of those formats offer some real great opportunities for learning, either directly on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, with an expert, or not one-on-one, -on -one, but with a single expert, versus a number of experts debating a hot topic or area of controversy for, um, uh, for a subject in otolaryngology. 
If you really want to dive into science, there's the scientific abstracts, which are presenting some of the latest science available. Um, and those sessions are basically run serially through a number of scientific abstracts focused around the topic. And so you go ahead and pick a topic of interest and uh, sit in the session and take a look at what the abstracts have to offer, which is really great. And don't forget that there's a little bit more um, uh, on your own time exploration of the poster session. So there's great science presented in the poster session, but it's there for you to explore at your pace and leisure. Um, and you're not beholden to any specific schedule. And so that's a great time to go, uh, um, excuse me, a great place to go and explore that kind of science. And while you're there, please don't forget to attend the expo. Um, the expo and the um, industry sponsors are a major part of what makes these meetings possible and attendance at those at, at the expo uh, really allows our vendors and our supporters to really feel the love as it come as it relates to uh, the field of otolaryngology so if you go to the poster session or even just separately don't forget to visit the expo so i hope between the named lectures education sessions of which there are panel and expert um, excuse me panel presentations and expert lectures scientific abstracts and posters you will find something that will uh, really help you learn and get up to date for um, within otolaryngology. If you want to have a good time, I would suggest going to something like the Odos on the Run or the Sunrise Yoga. Again, a smaller, intimate setting where you can find some like-minded people who maybe want to get up super early with you uh, and do uh, some good physical activity. I hope you enjoy your first meeting and I think you'll be one to remember. Thanks so much.